The purpose of this video is to create shims to custom shape the angles in the front of the saddle so they're parallel to your horse. To start, you'll need to have already taken the B template, which you'll find on our template instructions on our website, or by looking at the YouTube video, which is located on the Reactor Panel channel on YouTube. To start, you'll assemble your materials, which will be the templates that you took. You'll need a pen, a saddle with the panels and discs unattached, a Phillips screwdriver, or a screw gun, some number 10 wood screws that are an inch and a half long, hopefully we sent these to you along with your shimming material. You will need a tool to cut or rasp the foam. In this case, um, shimming material may vary. The white foam that we're using in this video uh, is a hard, dense foam. There are other things we may send depending on your situation. You'll need a table for viewing your templates and a padded surface for working on the saddle. So start by putting your templates on the table. We recommend that you tape them down, which will make them much easier to work with when you're looking at your saddle. These templates are taken where you place the front edge of your saddle, so once the templates are secured to the table, you simply pick up your saddle Place it onto the templates with the pommel of the saddle, about even with the top of the template, and then take a look at the angles. And you'll see in this video that the saddle is wider than the tracing of the horse, and we're going to use shims to narrow it. So take a piece of your shimming material, place it against the point of the tree, and using your pen, mark the shimming material so that the shim, when cut, will allow your saddle tree to follow the angle of your horse's template. Next, use your knife or rasping material to cut. And this is just a demonstration. We've actually already cut your shims, which are over here. And these shims, once you've cut them, place inside the points of the tree and verify that the shims that you've created will in fact change the tree angles so that the greatest possible distance is parallel to the tracings of your horse. You can see that these do. Now we're going to stop this video and in a moment we'll show you how to install these shims.